Hello everyone. Welcome to tutorial series of Learn Relational Database by Retail Shop Application Development in MS Access. In this tutorial you will learn MS Access queries. Before proceeding ahead, I quickly brief you what I have taught you till this point. In very first tutorial, I have shown you Retail Shop application that we are going to build hand in hand with you in MS Access by using the knowledge of Relational Database and MS Access DBMS tools. In my second tutorial, I have explained the data model for retail shop application. I have explained how customers table, products table, and orders table are defined and connected to each other. In my third tutorial, I have explained how to create tables in MS Access. In my fourth tutorial, I have explained how to establish relationship between these tables. Now, time has come to know about MS Access queries. If you have not seen those tutorial, then please see that tutorial first, because all these are interconnected. One very obvious question, you may ask me that. Sir, what is queries? You need not to be worry. I am here to explain yours all doubts. In Microsoft Access, a query is a tool used to retrieve specific information from one or more tables in a database. It allows you to ask questions about your data and extract only the data that meets certain criteria. Queries can range from simple to complex and can involve filtering, sorting, calculating, and summarizing data. There are several types of queries in MS Access. These are Select Query Parameter Query Action Query Crosstab Query SQL Query I will explain each and every query with example and demonstration in MS Access. So, let's start with Select Query. In Microsoft Access, a Select Query is used to retrieve data from one or more tables in a database. It follows a structure similar to other SQL databases, but Access provides its own graphical interface for building queries, known as the Query Design View. Here's how you can create a Select Query in Microsoft Access. Step 1. Open your Access Database. Step 2. Go to the Create tab. Step 3. Click on Query Design in the Queries group. This will open the Query Design view. Step 4. In the Query Design view, you will see a window containing a list of tables from your database. Select the table or tables from which you want to retrieve data and click Add or double-click the table to add it to the query. Step 5. Close the Show Table window. Step 6. You'll now see the selected tables represented as boxes in the Query Design view. Step 7. Double-click on the fields you want to include in your query to add them to the design grid. Step 8. You can specify criteria for filtering the data by entering conditions in the criteria row of the appropriate field. To run the query, click the Run button in the Design tab of the Query Design view. Now, we will jump into MS Access and do the practice of select query. Let's say we have a table named customers with columns customer ID, first name, last name, and mobile number. We want to retrieve all employees who belong to the Bangalore city. So, follow me. Open a new query in Query Design View. Add the customers table to the design grid. Double-click on the first name, last name, and city fields to add them to the query. In the city fields criteria row, enter Bangalore. Run the query. This query will retrieve the first name, last name, and city of all employees whose city is Bangalore. Congratulation! You have created very first query in MS Access. Now, to save this query, click the cross button over here. If it is new query then it will ask whether you want to save this query. Click Yes. It will ask you name of the query. Give some meaningful name and click OK. Your query have saved and you can see your query over here in Query section. If you double click, it will open. 
Now, in next tutorial I will teach you parameter query. Please like, share and subscribe. You will get notification as soon as my new video uploaded. Till then bye bye.